All right. So here's here's the board. I want to look around the room first. The room is as junky as ever. Getting lost in all this shit. Should I turn the radio off? Make them mad? Like, like, bitch. There's Chloe's cash stash. Sorry, Principal Wells. Fuck Principal Wells. You asshole. Damn. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. Alright. I won't let me go to the next page. Alright, I don't know. It, I tried to make it go to the next page, guys. It wouldn't let me. Alright, we don't want to sit down again. What we got right here? That's my Chloe. She's a bad girl again, guys. Alright, let's uh, look around here. What we got down here in this trash can? Even Holmes and Watson didn't use that. Got old ass Chuck Taylor. She done walked the soul out of them. What you drinking on? Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. All right. Check like this right here. Major clue. Yes, Chloe Price was here. Just smoking all type of cigarettes. I should have known just erasing that phone message wouldn't stop the police. All right. What else we got around here? All right, let's examine this coat. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? I, feel like we're I don't know. I, I want to know that as well. I want to know how many times she, how much time she has altered. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair. You had to die twice. All right, so we pretty much checked everything worth checking. Let's uh, go over to this board where they told us to examine. Right. So close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Darkroom. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. All right, so that part still happened. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. When uh, it's we kind of you know we ganged up on on the stepdad and you know <laughs> he was all upset, butt hurt and stuff. All right, so we can't go up in there. It only gives us the option to look. Let's go downstairs. I don't think too much stuff changed upstairs. Only thing you got is that uh, is the parents' room and the bathroom. Look at his ass. You mad, bro? He got a suitcase in his hand. He, he, he leaving? You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, <laughs> I didn't try to hurt you. Oh, I salute ever. you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. I mean, he was just too controlling, guys. You know, he just wanted to to run this household with an iron fist. He, he he didn't know the meaning of compromise. That was his problem. All right, so let's look in the garage. This isn't Chloe's room it looks anymore. Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. See if he left us any clues. We got an email right here. Let's see. Let's look at it. 
I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. All right, cool. Uh, hold on, damn, I ain't look at the last little piece of... Oh, yep, yeah, trying to make it... Yeah, there we go. I promise I'll meow Miss oh, Grant. Yeah. Twist that knife. Damn. At least he has one weird fan. The hell is this? Crazy as a person. I had person. surveillance footage of that conversation. All right, if you guys need to read any of that, just pause the video. All right, what we got right here? Surveillance cameras on his map. The Pan Estates. David must be working for the Prescotts too. He don't trust no damn body, do he? Just surveillance everywhere. Everybody catching that eye from the sky. What got hot sauce? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Why eating hot sauce and smoking cigarettes? Off the chain with it. Right in the damn garage. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. The fuck he is this chicken scratch? Letter to choice. How can anybody understand this? Alright, pause the video, guys. You wanna read that? Alright. Just keep looking around, man. He had to leave something. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. I mean, of course, if he's not going to be in anymore, I, I, I would think a divorce would follow. That's. I already looked at that. What the oh, hell I'm doing? Jeez. He took all his guns. David is packing up wedding stuff. Either Chloe oh, no, stole another gun, or David is out there armed. Uh oh, he's unstable. He was already unstable. Now he's man on the edge. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? That's that's a that's a good question. Got an all spot on the ground. All right, so let's ch check the lockers. Hold on, they're locked. The lockers are locked. Whoa, Who would have thought? That is it? a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Ain't none of ain't none of good uh good strike. Wouldn't take care of. We got something to hit that bitch with. See, all right, that's the door right there. We don't need to go through it yet. Got all these uh nice ass treats, all these delectable de delights, just up on up on the shelf. Oh, hold on, we got something to use. Let's. Ah, oh, you know, I ain't got the code. I ain't got the code. All right. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. Oh yeah, let's just break it, man. Fuck, find the code, man. I I don't even want to find the code. Let's just break it, bro. Got to be something around here that we can hit it with. There we go. Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. I don't even care. That was something, y'all. Well, Cooper, he's gonna know that you broke it. Oh well, whoop de do. I don't care. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Hell yeah, yeah, he done did that many times before. And then a controller just vibrating like a boss. I'm trying to find out what's going on. What's going on? Oh, what's going on? Maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Jackpot. Dude, he got all type of latitude longitude spots on I don't know but it's it's obviously you know points of interest somewhere you guys see all that oh damn that's when uh our boy Warren was getting his ass well when he when he came to save our ass from uh punk ass Nathan you getting license plates and shit who truck is that Oh snap! You got a picture of us. All right. Score. Back to Chloe now. So that's big right there. That's big. All right, so I get up out of here. Let's show Chloe what we what we got. Hold on. What's what's this right here? It's a. Looks like David already booked a room. All right. I wonder should we uh, should remember that for like future reference. All right, let's go Yo, and call Chloe. it down here. Show what we uh, 
found what we came upon. Door. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Look at Mr. Jefferson, guys. That punk ass principal. They out there throwing a the football. You throw like a girl. You'll never make it into the league. Never. He like he's so lonely, like, oh shit, a friend. That's a crazy ass janitor, man. And that a woman that look like Oprah. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot uh -oh. floor teacher. I think Chloe like to teach. You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. I think she get a little bit of that from uh, Rachel. Let's see you know, if I can find out. Her where other he friend, because she liked an old, older man too. I think they just like them old guys, you know. You know, another thing that I was thinking about too, as they were talking, I should have used my rewind power back there on that padlock. You know, I should have took the evidence, right, and then used my rewind. My, I said rewind. <laughs> my rewind power and made it look like the padlock was back on the locker. So. Hopefully that doesn't come to bite me in my ass later on. And also, don't let me know anything about nothing in no comment section. No spoilers and nothing like that. I don't play that shit, y'all. Know that. You know, I see a spoiler or something like that. I will I will block you with the quickness on sight. And I don't unblock. How you doing over here? Let me talk to Crazy. Uh, dead birds today. How are you doing, Crazy Jonathan, man. Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. Uh, animals, Arcadia Bay people. Yeah, he he looked like he, he probably tortured little little mice and squirrels and shit. Let me I ask about the animals. He probably has something to do with what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Yeah, squirrels, dead birds. I, I didn't even know they were talking about squirrels. It just looked like he just, he's he, he's fond of them. Uh, let's talk about the dead birds that have been dying. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Tabanga? What the fuck? What happened? Why is he talking about his himself in the third person? What the hell, What is a Tabanga? Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not we can prove it. It's so ominous. 
Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. All right, that was weird as fuck. Let's uh, talk about squirrels. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened, oh, to he them, does mess with squirrels. I was playing. Oh. Not as long as you're here to take <laughs> care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Oh, look at him. Look at him, get it. All right. Sad. Makes me mad. What, what you say, over? Real my ass. Hold on, let's uh. Can changing. can we feed him? As a scientist, I want to try to feed him. As Michelle Grant, I'm very worried. Arcadia Bay is scared. Too. Max don't give no damn get man. She be taking stuff. She don't ask for permission. Are we feeding them acorns? We all need there we go. For each other Eat up, days. little man. That was for you. All right. Good I think I had one right. more question to ask Sorry Samuel. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. Uh, let's see. Okay, we asked about the animal. We had two more questions. Let's ask him about Arcadia Bay. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Oh yeah. Let's uh, ask him about the Vortex Club. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> he just make everything just sound weird as fuck. All right, um... I was about the eclipse. I think he was standing out there. Miss Grant likes me. I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Who the hell is this? What is it? Did he turn into Rain Man or something? I mean, he, he sound like he he done, he done turned into a damn philosopher. He was sounding crazy at first. Now he just sound like he he's an all knowing mother. All right, how do you know, beginning of what? How do you know that? I'm genuinely curious. You just have you to open both. your eyes. Then, you can see what's coming. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max, I don't like it at all. I wouldn't be surprised if this artistic motherfucker right here knows about Max's power. He probably has the same damn power. Wouldn't that be crazy? That'd be a mind fuck right there. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. You think she's alive? Where is she? For laughs and giggles, let's just ask him. That's the real secret. Where is she? If anybody knows, it will be you. My dreams tell me that. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting, too. Uh, I, I'm... I'm speechless, man. This, this guy just... He just seems like... Um... He, he, he's, he knows something. Like, he, he, he knows a lot about what's going on right now. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. All right, so let's uh, ask him about Nathan. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. You don't sound sad. He deserved it. You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. He does know a lot, though, guys. He's a janitor for Blackwell, so he's always in the building, you know, just observing what's going on around him. Just like David was. You know, David was security guard. I mean, those jobs, just by default, you're going to, you know, figure stuff out, you know, and just uh, know stuff that, that other people wouldn't know. That's about David. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. 
I listen. That's how David operates. He That's sees usually how it works. Not people. But I I think he sees you, Max. Why? Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. All right, so let's ask about Kate. Blackwell is so sad and quiet since Kate isn't here anymore. Yes. And you can tell that the campus is different now. And you reached out to her when everybody turned away. Oh, you saw that too? I, I, I thought I was the only one that seen that. Nobody else seemed to notice that. I tried to help her. She jumped, she killed her dad. All right, Kate Bullet, Destiny. Mm. Uh, let's go with Kate Bullet. Samuel, you are the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I there you go, talking about bullies, himself third Max. person. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I, I hope she finds them now. Me and you both, brother. All right, we already talked about the animals, didn't we? He, he did a little thing. I'm sorry. With the squirrels. I better get we going do now. That. Now, who can I ask? 